It's minus 25 degrees Celsius, there's a howling wind, and there isn't a tree as far as the eye can see. The Kazakh steppes are an inhospitable region with hidden treasures. Medyut Karim, oil manager for the state energy giant Kazmunagaz, is showing us around the Akshabulak oil field. The oil wells are guarded by men toting Kalashnikovs. This security man asks whether we have a permit. He only lets us go on our way once he recognizes Medyut Karim. Our oil wells are our strategic property. Of course, we want to know what's happening here and who's hanging around here. We need the guards. Everyone looks after his or her property, Kazmunai Gas included. At Akshabulak, the workers are busy opening up the oil field from all sides. The oil lies at a depth of 1,900 meters. Drilling is a slow business. The Kazakhs are planning to tap some 80 million tons this year. That's about 2% of global oil output. But Karim says that Kazakhstan has the potential that will allow the company to soon double that figure but only thanks to help from outside. We need modern drilling equipment, technical expertise and funding. That's why a lot of international companies are involved in our projects. Everyone benefits, we do and so do our partners who want direct access to our big reserves. The majority of firms fighting for a share in Kazakhstan's oil fields and pipelines are Russian, American or Chinese. The Chinese firm CNPC has a share in Akshabulak. Project manager Du Imi quickly asks his boss for permission to talk to us off the cuff. Kazakhstan is a very important market for us. Our economy needs this oil to be able to grow. That's why we're trying to expand our cooperation with Kazmunai Gaz. We travel on to the Kazakh capital, Astana. The city is built on petrodollars. The biggest building belongs to Kazmunai Gaz. We want to ask the head of the company's PR department to tell us more about the great game. Ilya Pustagachev explains that that's the name the sector gives to the ongoing battle among industrialized nations over access to drilling fields and pipelines. He shows us who has already managed to get a foothold. These pipelines go to China, Russia and towards Western Europe. From there, some of the oil will be transferred on to tankers and shipped to the United States. The great game is pure politics. The central question is what route the new pipelines will take, whether they are to run through Russia or not. A lot of hard lobbying is involved. Each player is determined to secure its own supply of natural reserves and avoid passing the territory of their enemies so that they can't be blackmailed. We want to do business with everyone. Back at the oil field, Medyat Karim and his colleagues show us the new wells. Their presence is a clear sign that output is rising. We ask him whether international companies ever attempt to pressure Kazmunai Gaz or offer bribes. <laughs> That's a sensitive issue. We don't allow anyone to put us under pressure or buy us. We're interested in cooperating with lots of different partners. The more players involved here, the better. For Kazakhstan, the aim of the great game is to achieve economic advances and improve state security. Medyat Karim believes that the danger of being attacked by energy-hungry powers will be diminished if more industrialized nations invest in the state.